Okay, so I got the motor set in there. Um, <clears throat> and the previous video I lied about the, the height. <laughs> yeah, I had blocks in it there, but it wasn't accounting for the, the dip in the, the oil pan. So anyway, it's um, <clears throat> the pan sitting on the bottom right now. And the front slightly tilted up. And the coupler is together. Um, you know, it's pretty close to being level, but not in the pans on the, on the center keel. So, um, it's, you know, center left to right, but, and it looks pretty level up as far as up and down goes. So anyway, um, what Ronnie said was true. I'm just going to have about an eighth of an inch, but that eighth of an inch actually isn't there for me at the moment um, you know every install is going to be a little different so but you know the the intake welding ring is you know level with the bottom of the boat so you know it's so um you know and the thing it sucks is i already cut the hole in the transom <laughs> Not that big of a deal because if I raise it, it's not going to be that much, you know. I mean, three sixteenths maybe. And I'm just kind of trying to figure that out right now. You know, if I if I raise it straight up, you know, I can get enough clearance to to probably mount it in. Um, and be able to have a little bit of twist on the motor and clear the bottom um, enough for that. But you know you have to count for the motor weight being on those engine mounts. So when you're building the mounts, you know it's, it's not going to stay where it hits the mount. It's going to it's going to drop a little more. You know, and you got your rubber pads in there. They're going in, so you know they're going to be sitting on the bottom of the boat. Um, you know, up in that oil pan. So, yeah, it's pretty tight. And right now all I can figure is, you know, raise the intake. I'm not sure what else to do. Because I, I don't have clearance, I don't have the angle. You know, I'd, I could always lift the front of the intake and change the angle to where it's, you know, pointing upward more towards the front. But then I change the angle of the transom so, you know, obviously when I go to put the sides on, things need to match. You know, it has to, the sides have to fit from front to back. And, um, yeah, I know there's going to be some trimming and fitting and all that stuff and all that stuff. I just don't know how much of a tilt I could get away with on the intake. You know, if I, if I raise the front a little higher than the back, you know, and I don't think even that would be enough if I raise the front an eighth inch. I'd probably be square, you know, with, with the coupler. Um, maybe. Um, so if I raise the whole thing, I got to go more than eighth of an inch. Um, probably three sixteenths. Not real sure. Um, so I guess one thing I can do is just unbolt the, the intake from the transom. Um, you know, cut my spot welds, pop that thing up, you know, three sixteenths of an inch or something. Um, you know, make sure it's still square with the bottom of the boat, maybe slightly higher in the front, you know, obviously not much because that changes the angle of the transom. So, you know, I could go that route, see if that actually you know, it gives me enough clearance where I can build those mounts, have a square coupler and just, you know, have an eighth inch of clearance. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll make a video <laughs> when I get that figured out, but that's where it's at right now.